The art of concrete is made possible by Lafarge. Lafarge, building better cities. Concrete is a major element in any construction, but it can also be an element of beauty in design. For so long, South Africans have preferred traditional brick and mortar construction methods, but in recent years, there's been a definite shift in attitude towards more unique and unusual architectural design, making use of a variety of materials. Architect Greg Katz has developed a passion for using concrete as a primary material in his designs, allowing for some very exciting design possibilities. Until quite recently, people were a little bit averse to using concrete for whatever reason, I think mainly because it um, has quite a commercial image in this country. But um, I'm quite into crossing those boundaries and blurring those boundaries. I don't really believe in the, in the compartmentalization of different types of architecture. You know, I, I think that if you look overseas, people are living in industrial buildings. Those are called lofts. And in this country, we're starting to open ourselves to being a bit more adventurous with materials and um, concrete is, is definitely an exciting medium to work in. This home in Houghton, Johannesburg makes use of concrete pillar and beam construction methods to achieve a wonderful open plan living space. The ability to create large unsupported spans also means that the house can be opened right out to the garden. What we did was we structured the whole house around this courtyard. Um, the stand is only 20 meters wide, so um, we wanted to get as many north-facing aspects as possible, and the courtyard with this U-shaped configuration around it allowed for this really large surface area of glass. And the idea is that all the glass then folds away and all the rooms sort of open up and communicate with this courtyard. And kids can run around and play in here, and it's a really sort of defensible space. From a structural point of view, what made this all possible was the, the sort of the strength of the concrete, because you need um, this column and beam system of concrete with these really, really big spans to sort of support the upstairs structure and allow for these big spans and then have the glass sort of slide away. And when the glass is all out the way, then you sort of feel like you're really outdoors, even though, you know, it's, it's, it's completely sealable during the winter. In Greg's designs, concrete is not only a practical structural element, it also plays a major role in aesthetics. Keeping in mind the principles of honesty and, and a sort of a exposing the various components of the build, um, the exposing the concrete and not finishing it the same as the walls or the glass and having it really legible um, is, is an important principle for me, you know, just so that Looking at the house, you can immediately see what is structural and what you can take away. Also, the poetic quality of the concrete, um, as uh, you know, in, in juxtaposition with the really so sort of smooth, clean, highly polished surfaces of the glass and the plastered rendered brickwork, um, that contrast is really important for the composition. Because of the pillar and beam construction method, the design of this home allows for a free flow from the kitchen right through the living areas and out to the patio. To reinforce this flow, Greg made use of a continuous concrete floor which pulls all the spaces together. You actually need concrete as a surface bed anyway in a house. So um, what people do is then they come and put another finish on top of that. But if you take care and you say power float the concrete, um, then you get a smooth finished floor anyway. So it really saves you like two or three hundred rand a square meter in finishing. What we did here though was a, sort of a, another step where we've, where we've brought in grinders and we've like diamond blade grinders because concrete's really hard. And actually the stone aggregate that's in the concrete is really hard. And we polished the concrete. We took off about half a millimeter, between half a millimeter to one millimeter of concrete and then it goes through various stages of finer and finer, gr finer grinding and polishing until you get a floor like this. And it never ever cracks because it's the surface bed of the, f of the floor. It's not like when people talk about screeds, they confuse screeds with a surface bed. But this is not a screed, this is a su surface bed concrete. There's um, stone, stone aggregate and there's a mesh inside this, so it'll never crack. Um, we cut expansion joints you know, at the right time in the right place according to the engineer specs and you have a perfect floor forever. 
This type of exposed concrete finish is a very clean, modern look, and it provides the perfect platform to show off beautiful pieces and interior design. I was in New York for six years, and it comes from my experience there going to lofts in New York, which are these repurposed industrial spaces with finishes much like you have here. And the way to sort of warm that up is very much through the decor, you know, and the curtains and bringing those warmer, more classical elements into the home and not to be scared of um, inconsistency, you know, and making the space even a bit eclectic. Um, there's the, you know, mixing old with new, it's fun and it's also warm, you know, it warms the place up a lot. Whether you're after a clean, contemporary look or a more natural, rustic appearance, exploring the options of concrete construction offers a whole new world of design options. The art of concrete was made possible by Lafarge. Lafarge, building better cities.